so we learned how to create the account at any point platform now this video is all about the tour on any point platform so we would like to explain you about the components related to uh, any point platform here so let's log in with the credentials which we created in the last video this is the general dashboard of any point platform as you can see there are design center there is a management center there is a exchange there is any point studio so these all are the components of any point platform you ca you may also call them as the uh, components or the modules present in the endpoint platform so uh, in the management center you can have access management where you can actually manage your users business groups and you can check all the audit logs there then there is a api manager which is very much useful for managing the clients the policies like the cap policy the content prevention policy etc then the sla's which are the service level agreements the traffic to the to your servers and the alerts which you might want to get at the time of running the application there is another component which is named as runtime manager this runtime manager is helpful to deploy manage and monitor your deployed applications so for example if you have an application and you package it as a jar then you can deploy the same jar from the runtime manager itself and if you have 10 servers where your jar is running or where your application is running in a cluster or in a server group then also you can deploy uh, your application using the runtime manager and your application will be replicated to all the running instances of your servers then there's a visualizer component which is introduced in 2019 the latest component of anypoint platform which is really useful to visualize your application network for example if you would like to visualize uh, whether your application is performing in a right manner or not whether the incoming transport or or incoming api calls are coming to the right channel and redirecting to the right channel or not so this is how you manage the application from the unified interface which is available from any point platform then there is a monitoring tool which is also introduced in 2019 only uh, uh, this particular module provides you to uh, the facilities to monitor your apis to search your apis the alerts and to troubleshoot your apis <coughs> then there is a secret manager uh, which is helpful to manage public keys for SSL communication the second component which is useful here is the design center which is helpful to design your mule applications and api's so before creating any uh, before creating any api you must design the api in which you define what will be the url of the api how will be the message format which is the incoming message format for the api and how will you manage the outputs or the errors uh, using the uh, endpoint platform there is a quick start available here uh, which is helpful to actually create your first um, usoft application or first saas based application which is software as a service so uh, we will talk about this quick start later first we will complete all the components overview here the next component is the exchange where you can this is this is like a repository of your api so if your organization has 10 different departments and every departments every department is creating separate apis there must be some common apis which are useful for the other departments so you put all your apis to the exchange so that they are discoverable and shareable and reusable to other departments as well then there is the any point studio so this is the integrated development environment the uh, ui is like the eclipse we will talk about this ui later uh, as an overview i can tell you that the any point studio is helpful to create your mule applications helpful to design develop your applications develop your apis and then 
package them into the jar it has inbuilt mule uh, runtime engine as well so that you can test your apis apart from that anypoint platform has several components as we already described so this is all about the anypoint platform overview thanks for watching